Good morning. Wow, it's really early, and we're at Haleakala Summit for the sunrise. We've made the pilgrimage up to 10,000 feet on the very last day of the millennium, December 31st, 1999. So Paul and I and our friend Joyce are here to do this amazing ritual, and then we're going to go down into the crater to spend New Year's Eve inside the crater. So it's very chilly out, about 32 degrees. We got all our layers on, and we're inside the, the hut at the summit, um, waiting for the sun to emerge. All right, should be great. Ah, so dawn is breaking. The last sunrise of the millennium here at Haleakala Summit. It's beautiful, there's clouds and such beautiful color. And we're just about to see the sun peek over the big island off in the distance. This is what everybody comes here for. And we're blessed to be here on this last day of the millennium.
On the last day of the millennium, uh, we're blessed to get to hike the Halima'u Trail down to Holua Campground where we're going to spend the evening, New Year's Eve. Um, it's by permit only and I won the lottery, so I'm taking two of my friends with me to really experience uh, a very exclusive place to be in the world. <laughs> He's tumbling. It's kind of a, a fun trail so far and the temperature's rising even though there's some frost still on the ground. So there'll be a, lots of diversity along the way I'm sure in the epic views. So this park, uh, Haleakala National Park, is one of the most unique bioregions in the world. And these fences keep out the feral pigs and goats and also cattle that graze on these hillsides here. So we're entering into a uh, protected species zone. So we'll see some unique things in the world, including the silver swords. Come on in. What a view. Fantastic. Huge gap. Amazing. We're going to be going through it. Pretty green, isn't it? Because so much rain. Wow. It's beautiful. Completely different from the other, than from on the other side. That's where you look, see where those tools are? Over there, the, those little um, uh, indentations? Yeah. You can hike over those. Oh, wow. Pele's paint pot, they call it. It's all these colors, these gradated colors really? that just look like, a, like a painting. So I'm amazed from being on the other side of the the crater how green it is on this side. It's fantastically it's green. There's been a lot of rain and there's actually mm. even trees along these ridges here and so it's it's pretty epic, man. This is mm. one of the more amazing views you'll ever see. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty quick. 
pass it. Fantastic little puffs of cloud coming, well, yeah, just blowing we'll through here. Up. But we're so fortunate to have an incredibly clear day. It's starting to warm up, and once the sun peeks over that, it's going to get really cold down to uh, sub zero temperatures. But we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. But we like the warm. <laughs> Coming into the cloud forest effect around the bend here, fantastic.
We just saw the cabin that we're headed to. We're going to camp in that uh, valley up on that plateau. So we got to traverse this meadow uh, at the crater floor. And we're pretty close to the bottom here. It's been a really nice trail. We made it to the crater floor and it's fantastic and it's a mile to the campground straight across this trail and the clouds are rolling in and we got our hearty uh, friend Joyce here hiking barefoot. She's a, a mountain goat type and <laughs> we're having a good time. It's so fantastically, utterly, incomprehensibly beautiful here. Yeah. Awesome. Hmm. So just some perspective of where we've come from, way up top of this ridge here, we started out, probably about 2,000 feet elevation drop, I believe, in the neighborhood. I'm pretty impressed with myself. <laughs> Lava tube. So we set up our camp at Holua camp, Campground and uh, have this awesome spot protected by the elements and the clouds have cleared out and there's an awesome view of the other side of the crater behind us and we're going to a lava tube. Come along. Here we go. Off to work. Hi -ho, hi -ho. None of that. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. It's off. He's a big gun. We have our nene, our first nene spotting of the day. Oh, yeah. Nicely Heard plenty of them. perched up there. Yeah. Okay. This is 
fun. Uh oh, look at the look at the sun on the other side there. Ooh. Nene is the Hawaiian goose, endangered species that they've reintroduced to this uh, national park and several others in the Hawaiian Islands. Gas this out or fine. There, will it? Be fine. Huge keep. Down the stairs. Where? Down the stairs, straight ahead, look at my light. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm not, I think I'm in the wrong place right now. Just go straight down. Huh? Just go straight down. Okay. Straight down. Oh, and go towards. Okay. Yeah, hold the light out towards the side, and so we can see it a little bit. Can you hold hold a little bit up higher or something? Yeah, thank you, thank you, very good. Now we can see the dimensions here. Hold the light up. Yeah, excellent. Is this light helping you guys at all? Yeah, yeah, just go.
straight. symbolic rebirth journey going through a tube mm -hmm. like this in the core of the earth. Wow. Symbolism in there. You know, there's like a, you know, it just definitely has that. It's very distinct. And the lady that turned us around was the keeper of the cave, so she had a lot of Inside into what the representations of the, of the different things were. Mm hmm. And it was really. Oh, here's the other side of that, right? Is that that thing? Oh, I bet you're right. Wow. Woo. Man. Amazing. The kind of places that they always beamed into places like this. Yeah, yeah, so you all know. All of a sudden, they're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They don't quite know where they Cut, are. Got them through rock. Materialized them through rock.
mini right there in the back here. Uh -huh. That was a real adventure going into there. Look at the clouds. Awesome. The the sun setting in the back. Wow. Wow. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> so fortunate to be here. Yeah. Really, really fortunate. Mm. Doesn't get any better than mm. this. Mm -mm. Beauty and Oh, it is. It's where we were. Came out of that hole right down there. <laughs> Didn't really see it from this side. Uh uh. Woo! This cloud. That was a big awesome. lava tube. Yeah. We was inside Yee. the earth. Makihiki Ho! Welcome to the new millennium. We spent the night mag in this magnificent, peaceful spot at Hulua Campground inside Haleakala Crater, and now we're headed over there to the other side, surface of Mars. Um, just a couple people were in the yeah, cabin. Yeah, two or three people. Hmm. So to twelve. Hmm. Three. Yeah, 
He's given the right to Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll see about that's that. That's anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I like that idea. Yeah, I don't know, you know, how, how, who knows. Maybe they'll just, like, they'll see that so many people didn't show up and, you know, call I think that was the point. Yeah, to try you know, to discourage people from coming. Oh, yeah. very much of a discouragement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Some guy, these guys walking down ahead of us, they go, we, we heard it was going to be Woodstock down here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was no, like, nothing could be so. further from the truth. Well, I was looking this morning, and I could see all, I mean, I could see all the headlights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah we went up and saw the sunrise yesterday morning. The whole floor was covered with garlic frosting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I had a little cool spell. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> snuggled in. <laughs> Have you been in the lava pool over here? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were just up there. Mm-hmm. Well, that's just a cave. Huh? It's, it's just a cave in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they just fell that way. It's mm-hmm. cool because your eyes. Mm-hmm. Your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> just the fell Hawaiians that way. Never, yeah, the yeah. Hawaiians didn't do that. Stuff. I know, but yeah. It's just other people's uh, offerings. So our first stop along this trail from Halua Cabin is the Silver Sword Loop, where there's um, hopefully dozens of rare and endangered silver swords, these beautiful uh, cactus-like plants that bloom once every hundred years and they die. So we're very excited to see these plants today. seedlings along this trail and then there's a really perfect specimen right here. So let's check it out. It's a perfectly round. Fantastic. Color is magnificent. It's so shiny. And it's icy green. Very unique plant.
plants, and I said they they uh, bloom once every hundred years. They get the stalk out the top, and then they die. And this is a really good example of what it turns into when it returns to the earth. It's almost like yarn. Creates a bed for new plant life. Total trust in the process. Right up on that little left there. Hope you enjoyed seeing the beautiful silver swords and we're going to hike some more. We've got this interesting cloud cover coming in on us which comes over from the coast over in Haiku. Blows into the crater. Happened yesterday. So we're going to keep moving.